Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. All music, photos, and videos under fair use for review and educational purposes only. The movie was a complete continuation of Part 1, and so was the Series 2 figures. Series 1 laid the groundwork for Jack Specific, but they're about to show the whole world that they're not a one-trick pony. Series 2's gonna show you, they ain't no Italian chicken. Rocky 2, the toys continue. Hitting store shelves in late November of 2006, just in time for the December release of the long-awaited sequel in the franchise, Rocky Balboa. Fans were treated with a sneak peek of the aforementioned movie figure, post-fight Rocky Balboa released alongside the 10 Rocky II movie figures. The packaging colors changed, as Rocky's did, from red and white to black and yellow. Photos in the background also changed to coincide with Rocky II. Another great change between Series 1 and Series 2 are the little pictures inserted in the box. Not only do they represent the character in the box, but also the scene. There was a second and third online exclusive figures, one of which bridges any gap between the movies and the series. Wheelchair Rocky With two notable bums in the series in Brett Musburger and Roberto Duran, I would have rather had a skinny poly with a snow cone, a quote-unquote take her to the zoo Adrian, What are we doing here at the zoo? Or even a Father Carmine. Series 2 gave us characters we wish we would have gotten in Series 1. Unfortunately, we still didn't get the championship belt. But don't get me wrong, this series with no girls in sight did what it intended to do, and that is... Smeal Manly. Smeal Manly? Uh, cut. Does that smell manly? Can you read that, Rock? Yeah. I previously unboxed and reviewed this figure back in 2019. I am re-uploading it with new video and pictures in 4K definition. So here is Jack's 2006 Rocky series, one out of 1800, Caveman Rocky. Rocky comes in this spectacular packaging, showcasing the figure perfectly. The sides feature iconic moments from the Rocky II film. The back features a prototype picture of the figure, a small bio for the figure and the other figures from series two that you can collect. The figure depicts Rocky filming a commercial, misreading the cue cards, giving us one of many iconic lines. In the morning, I splash it on and it makes me smeal mainly. Smeal mainly? Uh, cut. Does that smell manly? Can you read that, Rock? Yeah. Well, let's go again. Well, excuse Once me. Once again, fellas. You know, I know I said it wrong, but <laughs> it really don't smell manly. I mean, do you think this stuff smells like a man? Absolutely this Rocky figure was a Ringside Collectibles exclusive, who still has an Apollo Creed exclusive for sale. Now that I've plugged their website, maybe they'll give me a discount, or even become another one of our sponsors. Which reminds me, I'd like to thank Shamrock Meats Incorporated. Shamrock Meats, an excellent selection of quality, fresh cut meats, personally tenderized by one of Philly's own. What do you think of the robe? It's not too baggy, is it? All right, so here's Rocky Unboxed. He came with two accessories. He came with his club, and he came with the caveman necklace. The bandana is not removable. It feels like they glued it on, and I don't want to be fidgeting around with it too much. Let's take a look at Rocky's articulation. He's got articulation at the head, G.I. Joe swivel arm, articulation at the elbow, wrist, articulation at the hips, legs, knees, articulation at the ankle. And here is Rocky all decked out. He's got his caveman necklace and his club. These ankle joints are just a little weak, especially on this foot. Let's look at the face. Now this is a younger Stallone. Rocky 1 Stallone. They did make a Stallone face for Rocky 2. Like here. He had the longer hair. He had that kind of 70s look. Why couldn't they use that one? They did use it on the training Rocky. 
why not just use it on this Rocky as well and put that pasted on bandana on him. The back of the package displays a prototype image of the caveman Rocky. Although the shoulder strap is on the correct side for the prototype, the color and lack of bandana makes me appreciate the finished product a little more. I just noticed something I hadn't noticed two years ago in my initial review of Rocky Balboa as a caveman. Look at the figures on the back of the packaging. These are all Series 1 figures. These are Series 2. This is supposed to be a Series 2 figure. Yet it's got Series 1 figures. See, here's Series 2. All the figures that you can collect from Series 2. Plus the early release Rocky Balboa. And here are all the figures you can collect for Series 1. It seems as though this Rocky Balboa as a caveman was an early release itself. Thanks for joining me on this review. Don't forget that there are many more Rocky figure reviews and many more to come as this is only Series 2. We still have Series 3, Series 4, Series 5 and the best of Series 1 and the best of Series 2. So keep punching!